We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 Madeo, all gone. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, you name it, we're on it. But if you want to see all our visuals, you got to go tap into our YouTube channel. There you see our all our exclusive content. But if the only way you see exclusive content now is if you buy our memberships. How you find our membership is under each and every video in the description section below. There is a link that says join our membership. Click that and you'll see all you need to see to be entertained and informed. So thank you in advance for all the support and we love you. Hey man, listen man. These guys don't need no introduction. We down here in ATL, man. It's going down. Um, you know, we got a couple of guys here. One, you know, you're going to be familiar with on the channel. Um, my guy, Shorty Lowe Jr. is in the building. What's happening? Now, this newcomer, this guy right here needs no introduction. This one of the coldest niggas to do it. And, and he says something in the slogan. I'm going to let him tell you. I'm not going to tell you. Tree of Battle is in the building. Hey man, what's up, man? It's your boy Trey about it, man. The best actor in the mother world. See Jack. what I'm saying? I told you. I knew you were gonna say it. Yeah, That's what he did. Nah, he come right up on here and said it. Nah, That's your slogan. And look, man, look, you know, the reason I say that is because, you know what I'm saying, like, we the best actors in the world, and we train with the best actors in the world, and we're gonna inspire the best actors in the world, and we add value everywhere we go. So, yeah. The best actor in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna have to come check me on that. Man, sure. man, you know, uh, Charlotte Jr., man, I reposted your first video, man. That thing went crazy. I called you, remember that? Yes, sir. I said, nigga, I reposted that whole day. They, they didn't film me that first time, but that second time, boy, them nigga got right. <laughs> Did anybody ask you about that? Man, actually, like, after, after you had posted, man, I got so many people to DM me and hit me up, like, hey, bro, I just seen you. Boss Talk interview and this and that and woo -de -woo, -de -woo, -de woo man. Your story is so unique and how do you do it and this and that, man. My DMs was flooded. For That's weeks. crazy. So it was crazy after that. Because I, I, I basically just said, you know, one day I don't know what made me do it. I'm saying I'm going to put this thing back out because these niggas didn't hear me. I think these niggas need to hear what, you know, what we did. And it was dope. Everything you said, it was on point. Just your story is so dope. So I knew they was going. I knew they were going. If they, if they, fit, if they get, if I get the right title and the right thumbnail and the right situation, the universe gonna lock it in. You feel right. me? Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. And I appreciate that, too. man. So you know, um, so what's been up, man? What's going on with the music, man? Drop some new music. Um, the air is my new single that I'm pushing. It's out right now on all platforms. I actually just shot the video to it today before I got here. So I'm gonna get to see that. I'm, 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 we gonna we gonna go down Exclusive. through there. Exclusive. When is it coming out? Um, I'm actually gonna drop it on March 22nd, which is my father's birthday. Which that's that's big. Give me that date again. So um, that's March 22nd is um when we are gonna drop the official video for the air. But also, you know, March 22nd, that's my dad's birthday, which I put together a whole week. It's called Down for Low Week, right? So um, that's where we celebrate my father's life legacy and his impact and, and and everything that he stood for and what he did for the people and everything like that so wow. down flow we gonna be big man um I'm, I'm going to tell you now so march 21st i was actually able to partner with tip so tip is going shout out to ti yeah shout out, shout out to ti man you know um he ain't been nothing but a real guy the times that i've got to meet him and talk to him and stuff like that so um um hit him up well, actually, he came out to Down Flow Week last year. He came out, showed love and everything, and, and you know, that was that. Um, so this year, we're going to partner with him um, at the Trap Cafe. So we need everybody to be there. March 22nd, we actually going to um, feed the um, homeless, and then we're going to be at Sweet Lounge that night. So um, I was going to say after that, that Saturday, which is March 23rd, we have the Celebrity Basketball Game, and then we're going to be at the Bank Event Center. And then Sunday, we're going to kind of have like a um, Sunday fun day where like we're going to go to the park. We're going to have a DJ and everything like that. We're going to have a water gun fight and a b b balloon fight. And y'all know Trouble who passed school. Yeah. So um, he had the movement with the water guns up, guns down here. So, you know, I'm going to pay homage to him and everybody else that we lost to gun violence. So um, so that that's going to be big in the city. 
Wow. Man, you know, like I said, you you basically, man, every time, you don't ever stop, and that's the only way you lose when you stop. Man, creating a legacy like you've done, uh, pushing the, uh, is any one of your other uh, siblings uh, doing any, uh, working with you with the, you know, pushing the movement? For sure. Who all, who all was getting involved? What happened to that little youngest boy he used to, your your baby Dooley, brother? And I still talk to Dooley. Um, actually, me and Dooley was just texting earlier. You know, he asked me what I was doing and stuff like that. I told him. How old is he now? He's he's about to be 11. Wow. So he was three when my, my your pop passed. passed. Dude, yeah. So you spend time with him? Of course. Stuff? I go pick him up. I go to his um games and stuff. He hoop. Um, so, you know, I kick it with him. I take him out and stuff like that. You know, I just try to still bridge that gap with yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I like I said, it's a, it's definitely a thing where I just feel like, um, you know, we just got to keep on just pushing and thriving and trying to figure out ways to, you know, uh, um, keep the man. I love that music, that Dun Dun and all and all that stuff, man. I'm an old school Classic. nigga, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll be waiting on you to redo songs. Um, I, I can't wait. You know what I'm saying? I I'll be like, man, I know you're gonna bring me something back. You know, you have remixes. You you do something. You I call it a remix. I'm an old nigga. When you say the, you can't even say remix no more, can you? Yeah. You can Okay yeah, It's yeah, the same yeah. thing That remix mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying Cause back in the day We'll remix something In a minute yeah, for real, man. You, know, you young niggas man. don't Y'all might be calling it The flip or something I don't know oh, nah, man. It's a remix <laughs> yeah. it's Don't make us too old yeah, man. Don't make say. us too old Yeah man. so So what What? Okay so you You'll be on The, the Country Wayne uh, skits Yeah So um So yeah You know what I'm saying Once again My name is Trail Battle uh, yeah, I am on the Country Wayne series on Facebook, on YouTube. So, you know, y'all may have seen me on like 15 skits in. Now, I'm a front runner on it now. So, we got a lot, a lot of dope stuff coming. Y'all, man, if y'all ain't paid attention, y'all yeah, pay attention to them storylines, man. Them storylines be deep, man. Storylines be deep, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all watch the Country Wayne series, man. Y'all be on, y'all, y'all tap in sometimes. Yeah, we have time. It's a do. lot. It's a lot of content. Man, they drop like man, nine they, to twelve I talk episodes to that a nigga, day. I talk to that nigga <laughs> all the time, man. Know, man That's man. the homie. But uh, but Mike Bless is, is is like a brother. I talked to him yeah, day before yeah, yesterday. That, 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 we, that, that's uh, a big homie. We um, um, matter of fact, uh, yeah, he up. Shout out to you up there in L.A. I know where you at, nigga, right now. Shout I put out the, my bless, shout yeah. out Country Wayne, man. Yeah, really. Shout out. So you know, how big like is that, that to get an appointment? Uh, you know, to to, to get uh, opportunity to work with those guys. <laughs> ah, man, it was huge, man. I um I came in um I came in. Shout out SK Cast, and I came in on um, through SK Cast and doing a background. And out of a hundred people, they picked ten of us to play back background gangsters. When I got in there, um, Mike Bless. As soon as I walked in the door. Everybody had on black. I had on all white. You know what I'm saying? My Bliss asked me out top. He said, uh, bro, uh, you know, what's your acting resume? I said, you know what I'm saying? I got seven movies on Tubi. I got six movies finna drop before the end of the year. You know what I'm saying? I'm working. You know, and he, um, and I, you know, I greeted the people I knew in the room. And he was like, I bet you finna run this next skit. So on that day, I shot like four skits. And he put me as a front runner on all the skits. And then he told the cast and director about two skits in. He was like, oh, yo, he ours now. It's over with. You know what I'm saying? He ours now. She was like, damn. Like, she she was looking. She was like, yeah, I like what he did. Woo -de -woo. And they, they put me on um, on that platform. I, mean, I already been working. I already been doing stuff or whatever. But it's always good to be in different rooms and get recognized by people of value. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate that. I truly appreciate him for the opportunity. And since then... Um, we've been we've been working, you know what I'm saying? They got they, they got some good plans, you know what I'm saying, for us moving forward and, and I'm just trying to add as much value as possible. That's the biggest thing, add as much value as possible. So I'm thankful for the opportunity and I just wanna add as much value as possible for sure. Wow, you know, um I, it, it skits go crazy. It skits go crazy, keep redeveloping, they never stop. You know what I mean? Yeah, nah, shout out to Country yeah. Wayne. Shout he figured out, it out. Man. You know shout what I mean? Out, so yeah, and, and you gonna you, you gonna get in them skits too? For sure. Um I appreciate Mike Bless for sure, and I appreciate my brother for even considering me when they asked for him to bring in somebody. So yeah, so I'm actually in two and one has already been put out. So it's like, yeah, so just came out me. yesterday. Yeah, it came out yesterday. And it's already <laughs> so just to really be on that platform with everything we got going on, bringing in them type of views and a different, a whole nother uh, audience, audience group of people. You know what I mean? So that, that's gonna be big for everything that I got going on anyway, or we got going on. Wow, you, know I mean? you guys, how did you guys end up meeting? 
Yeah. You know, so I'll let Trill tell you that. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, uh, real quick, see, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go into that real quick segue. I just want to know, like, E, like, for real, it is big being on that platform because they get 40 million views a week from face between Facebook and YouTube. They get 40 million views a week. I think Game of Thrones was probably the only people that got the most views in them, and that's over a season, but, like, they really do, like, big numbers, and they really take care of their people. They're really good people over there. I know you know because it's just your people, but, they, but, like, from a person coming in new, they do. But how me and my brother met, I met through, well, I used to work with his dad doing casting, so when I was in college, I used to get him girls for video shoots and stuff. My brother, GT Films, he shoot music videos for, um, he in shot for everybody in the city, but um, the Lucci, 762 video like videos like that like you know see shot he went crazy and he put me on and he let me be a casting director for low and i came and i built a relationship with him so when he passed of course like you know i was in the mix i was able to build a relationship with with low with kwando you know see his other brother and um and like we just building a legacy man you know what i'm saying i think that it's beautiful for a man Cause one thing about low, don't nobody have nothing bad to say. God and thank God. Like even if they did, it don't even it don't even matter. It's it's just it's just blessings. And I feel like as a man, when you leave when you leave this earth, you want people to speak highly of you. That's you real. Feel me? You know what I'm saying? So so to be able to meet meet that person. And then meet brothers, and we born on the same day. Our birthday is June third. We born on the same hard. day. It's hard. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, and then and then Quando, his other brother, you know what I'm saying? And my and my first cousin, my my other cousin, Ty Black, they born on the same day. So wow. it was a connection already. You know what I'm saying? Like one of my other cousins was Whitlow. It was just so many areas that we were already connected that it's like we're trying to carry on this legacy forever. You know what I'm saying? We trying to leave, like you know what I'm saying, like. Leave giving the legacy just like Lo did, and I think that's the biggest thing that like brought us together. So it's bigger than just like, oh, this is my partner, oh, this is somebody. I'm. Mean, it's like now, nah, like I care about his 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 lineage. You know what I'm saying? I want him to be great. I want him to be a great man, a God fearing man, a person to do. So we 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 keep each other up. You know what I'm saying? And my brother for real. real. Man, that's hard, man. When you got somebody you can you know rock out with that's really trying to do something that's positive and do the same thing you trying to do when family stands first. You know. Um, Mr. Maker, what you think about these young men? Now, he, the, Jesus is popping chain. He be over there with Country Wayne. I, I'm breaking down to you real easy. Let me break it down to you real easy. Charlotte Jr., you know already what he do, man. Like, he's one of these guys, man, that I'm never going to stop talking to him. We're going to always chop it up. I'm always trying to figure out what he got going. You know, I call and check on you. Nigga, what you doing over there? Oh, no, 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 I'm just chilling. He's going to be real calm with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> man, so, I mean, uh, do you, when you get into your acting mode, is there a certain, you know, can you, you, you know, do you, you know, let me see if I got something. Man. Oh, she just went over there. See that? That was acting. I just gave you a little bit, nigga. I gave you a little bit. I made y'all believe it. You made y'all believe it. Everybody, everybody. everybody. That's what I'm telling you, nigga. I'm good. I, I need to be on the, uh, a show or something, so get me on. I'll even do a Tubi movie. You know what I'm man, saying? Look, just, hey, look, hey, look. Don't sleep on the Tubi movies, man. I got seven of them out right seven now. Seven of them. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like, oh, we, got, else, we, got, we got eight movies out. You know what I'm saying? Seven on Tubi, one of them on streaming platforms. All jokes aside, the comedy. But, like, we got seven of them that's, like, that's out on Tubi right now. And we got six that's going to drop. For the end of the year, and all those side gonna be on 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 Tubi too. But it's just you know distribution. This is where we at right you now. You don't want me to do it because I got all kind of stuff. It's what? easy. It's what? easy. You already got it. John got shot. You know, just like that. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> <It's awesome>. hey, <laughs> hey, that right too. You got to have. You got to be ready yeah, for sure. Most niggas ain't ready for sure. How much hard did it take when you first started out just doing it? Man, you know what? My my same brother GT Films that got me the um. The, the 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 gig with low doing casting bringing girls and stuff he is the same person that put me in my first web series and that web series was in tw 2015 it's called livewise it had me capri card the whole uh, showtime showtime he's a big ad in the city he had uh ad's everybody's movies like it was all of us starting off and um and that 
that web series got me my first movie. And that my first movie was with Trey Chaney from The Wire who played Poop. Yeah. Uh, Jamal Gravy Wooler who played Big in the Toy. That's Tommy. That was my that was my first movie in twenty twenty. And that came off of me doing a web series. So I would say just keep on working. What was like the name of the movie? Out on the limb. Out, out on the limb. On the limb. That's my first movie. It's on Tubi right now, man. Out on the limb. Y'all check that out, man. Shout out director Okarike. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shot for shot, my brother who pulled me in on the project. Man, it was it's That's it's, hard. That's really yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, man. Like it's it is definitely it definitely big. But acting is being yourself. It's being yourself inside of a character. They give you a script, you be yourself, and if they need something else different, you know what I'm saying, you follow the directions of the director. But like initially starting off off the mud, like how you just did it, hey look, shout it, hey, who is that right there? Woo! That how clean that was? That's you. you. Got it. That's you, Damn. baby. That's you. You feel me? So, Nigga, I baby. thought I ain't gonna lie, I was I was tuned in like a Toby movie. Just. <laughs> That niggas, yeah, when you went to Egypt, yeah, because when, what, and, and she attest to this, she always talks about it, the acting sometimes, the, the the lighting and different things, the way they're filming, you can tell that it's, you know, they moving toward it, but it ain't right where it need to be just yet a lot of times on those Tubi movies, right? Mm-hmm. But they're getting better. Production is getting better. Me and T, um, Brandon T. Jackson, he got a lot mm-hmm. of them on there, yeah. too. That's the homie. He just yeah, left the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Brandon T. Jackson, hard, man. He went through a whole journey and stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? He went, yeah, he went through a whole journey. And it's a salute. Well, salute, let's bro. talk about the journey that he went through. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Let's I talk about you. Shit, you threw man. it out there. So, um, the journey that he went through, he came on here and said that when he wore the dress, mm-hmm. he took something away from him. Would you be willing to put that dress on? Nah, I ain't putting on Bro, well, I, well, it's like, just acting. I, I, you know it, you know it, and I know it, and I know it, and and you know I'm glad you, I'm glad you brought up that question. I'm gonna say this: salute to Brandon T. Jackson, and salute to the brothers that had to put on dresses to go through the wisdom that you had to go through to end up saying that because. Everybody make mistakes. Everybody could have did something because they're like, hey, look, let me get on. Like, I need to do whatever I need to do to get on, to get this look, to get whatever, you know what I'm saying? And or whatever it may have been, you know what I'm saying? Even if it was funny because, you know, you can watch, you can watch uh, white, white comedy movies and stuff where they do like little, you know what I'm saying, different jokes on there that may be like, bro, like this. And people think it's funny, you know what I'm saying? It might be some left field stuff or whatever. They think it's funny or whatever. So salute enough for their wisdom. But now nah, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, definitely for me as a person, that just ain't me. That, that ain't no type of thing I rock with. So like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't going for none right, of that. I, got, I, I bring you in the room. I got the chair. Me and the white boy. It's always the white boy involved. And I say, we want to we want to talk to you about you wearing this dress. And I'm going to give you $20 million. See what I mean? Just think about it. Mm-hmm. Don't don't answer something. I want you to think about it. We just need you to wear this dress. What you doing? You see what I'm saying? It's easy to say it. say it when ain't no money on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when sure, you put that sure. bread up on the table, oh yeah. It's gonna make you go back and think. You're gonna say, man, let me holler back and don't take don't just just hold on. <laughs> man, look, I'm gonna, <laughs> I, I look I, just, I, just hold on. Oh, uh, you say I got to wear a dress. Can I can I pull it to the side a little bit? Is it a kilt? You know, nigga, nigga trying to come over there. Nigga trying to get that twenty. Nigga trying to get that twenty mil. What type of dress is it? A sun? See what I'm saying? Is it tight? Is it niggas? Yeah, niggas is really yeah. Watch that twenty million on table. Send me a picture of the dress. Nah, but I I feel like this man. You know, so I always had my mind on like you know what I'm saying like. I'm gonna be a trillionaire, you know, and I and I feel like that's off of communication and your imagination that really like takes you there. And um for because it's not my brand, I would never, you know what I'm saying, partake in that. That ain't that ain't something that I ever do. I don't want that for my legacy. I don't want my my sons or my grandchildren or, you know, anything to anybody to look at me in that light. And that's just a personal preference. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to nobody who does it. Like that's a like for real. Martin Lawrence, you know he does it. And and with Martin Lawrence, Jamie one of Fox, the greatest, he done it. And look, look, and I, and I Eddie love Murphy, brother, he done it. But but you heard what I said at the beginning. You see, I keep going. The wisdom. Them boys got some. Them boys, them boys, them boys, them boys got some. Kevin Hart, he's done it. And look, and look, and the thing. Um, you want me to keep going? 
You know, you got to keep going, King. There's a lot of doing. I respect brothers. I respect all them. I pray. Mrs. I, I pray. Fire I, by Rudd. So it ain't I just a black thing. I get thing. to work with everybody who, who, who was able to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's just Flip not Wilson my, done it. That's just not my calling in life, King. people done it, man. I'm, I'm not trying to convince you of nothing, I bro. Pre- I appreciate but, the, uh, the, 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 the <laughs> proclamation that you're trying to make out this motherfucker. But Trio. You know tri- hey, listen. Trio. <laughs> Trill is a different, uh, Bun B is the first person, UGK, I, I seen use that word Trill. Mm, salute to them, bro. You know, um, that when I seen that hat, that's the first thing I thought about. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a big Pimp C fan. I am and that Trill, that Trill is something that, that's real. them boys used to, they'll say it, boy, they'll put it in a rap in a minute. And that's how we and got stand down. Stand on it. Yeah, and stand on it. Mm. So, Charlotte Jr., man, like, like when you, when you think about just all the stuff that's going on, you know there's a lot going on in that dang media, man. P. Diddy fit to go to the prison, or either they going to keep Mike on a mocker out of him. Meek Mills, you know, and you don't have to speak on just let me talk. Mm-hmm. Meek Mills was laying there uh, with his back down, but they, they tried to, they clipping him all kind of ways, bro. And it's crazy, like, how careful are you not to get caught up in, see, and I'm, I'm telling you, because you don't need to get caught up in the doing things that may make you look you a certain way. Like, when you look at Shannon Sharp, he got out the car in that green. <laughs> but he, I, I think he was trolling, because it was from his channel, it was his stuff, and the way that looked was like, you care. seen it, right? That yeah, yeah, yes, I see that he stepped out there. But I love, uh, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, I well, I just, you know, I don't know if he was being funny or what, what I'm happened trying to understand. Or trolling. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I definitely love. I love anybody that look like me that's doing this here. For sure. You know, but boy, I'm telling you, they've been giving him the blues. I be telling my, I walk still when I'm. No, because I don't want no problem. <laughs> when I walk, I'm still. You know, when I take a picture, I'm, I'm trying to do, you know, the right thing. Mugging. Yeah, I don't uh, even smile. I don't do no smiling. Yeah, not for real. Because you don't know what these people gonna do with this footage. No, for sure. Am I right? And they'll just catch an angle of when you probably you turn it, you might look some type of way, or your wrist might be down a little bit or something like that, and they probably try they to They gonna catch play it you. Any type of way. I mean, you really can't avoid it, man. You know, people I, I feel like people gonna find a way to try to find something to talk about to make themselves relevant and they might use you to, to do that for them. So the only thing you can do is be you and people just gonna know who you are overall. So it most likely, hopefully it doesn't affect your career and hopefully you don't take it personal. Wow. You know what I mean is is uh is Jamie Foxx a clone or what? Uh, I don't you know, I don't get into all this. Well, I'm stuff. just saying, you know, so do I you believe in talk. clones? I don't. I, I don't I, I, I one person like in my comments say, Where they get the soul from? I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, you know the the, the body soul. Where they get the soul? Excuse me. The soul. That's what I'm saying. See, don't go there. We're going to get a million <laughs> views. Let it go, man. Aliens and everything, they get a million views, man. Oh, For real? Yeah, yeah no, nah, like people, a lot of people into a lot of stuff that I don't talk about. So I be like looking at like, damn, they got some views for talking about that. And the reason I looked at that one because Joe Rogan, he was number 59, he had 59 million views on a, on a, on a alien type setup film. But Shannon Sharp just passed him with Cat Williams. Oh yeah, mm. hey, just bad. We just, interview went crazy. Yeah, that went crazy. Salute, yeah, salute to both of them. Yeah, Cat Williams is a uh, 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 yeah. He ran a forty, a four four forty. Man, that man. No, that nigga come through there. Hey, bro, they just clipped it to make nah. sure like he was doing that. Look, that, look, that, that they just posted new one today. That he did like a four nine seven man. Oh, uh-uh, man. for real, oh, man. Yeah, they just posted new one today. Like, I ain't going. That nigga ran a four nine man, seven. He went even moving. Like, I know what <laughs> I know what that look like when you're running it, or, or even know, passing bro. that. He that had, nigga hand was going like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I know because he just and his hair was like going that. back. Man, he had always do that. He said, oh. he going back. <laughs> yeah, and then he come through hard like. Man, I said, look at that salute. nigga, and then they showed you the camera like. I said, oh yeah. damn. Yeah, hey, bro, back. I salute Cat Win. That, hey, that nigga hard. I ain't gonna hold you. Pause. But I'm, when it comes to how he kick it. <laughs> As I said, pause, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about, I'm talking about how he kick it. And then you say come to how he kick it. it. Like, you went into it even more. How he kick it. What's up with all this? Nah, this? nah. What are you I'm doing? About, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm bro. I'm listening to you. I'm just bro, giving bro, it up. Bro, kick it like, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if I'm five, I'm five, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I step in the room. We don't care if you seven feet. Like, bro, you going to notice that. You know what I'm saying? This me, and you ain't going to respect it. And then he say stuff like, yeah, I can run a four something 40, and he run it. 
two times, it's like, bro, like you can't really like. I got to see him run it from start to finish because they always show it <laughs> when he in motion. They don't never show it when he take off. The last mm -hmm. one, the, the last one he show when he take off. Mm -hmm. The one, the one just posted. Man, see, but dumb people probably clip it. See, but see, but the thing is, we don't know how many times they done ran that. Like, like we don't know how many times they done ran it to where they know when to stop it and make it say four, four something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, so it's like he probably take off and then did a couple times with now. So we, we got to start it right here. So when you get here, say this. Nah, I, mean, I don't believe he probably he show you know me. you know he could have just cheated up a little bit. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Cause it don't look like he running no forty yard. Man, it look like about ten yard, fifteen yard, twenty yard. <laughs> hey, because me a person who played football and ran track, I know how that okay. look. It seemed like you kind of ended like it. That. So I want to go on and just go on and give you the question of the day since you want to talk. <laughs> you want to run up on this, okay? You Let's keep you it. keep talking about it, so I'm gonna go and give it to you. Would you be willing to raise cat? Man, for sure. In a fault, man. You think you can beat him? Man, I know. <laughs> ah, my wife got it. Buddy. I know. You think? I know it, man. Come on, <laughs> man. That's cap, bro. That he nigga gonna have to show come. me, man. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. I, ain't, I ain't going, man. Cat, you what, man? You gonna have to show me, Pop. You, you racing me? Do you I, see that nigga moving, man, man? Man, pull it up so I can do the same thing. Let's <laughs> and, and, and do all that. He gonna have to show me. Yeah, man. you gonna have to make me, make me believe what's going on. Nah, I, I ain't going. So you and T.I., man, how did y'all even come together to say he's going to be a part of a... Uh um, he actually came out to Down for a little week last year, you know, and um, and um, I ran into him a couple of times. And um, I was planning Down for a little week this year. And um, I actually called up to the truck cafe because I know he, t uh, he typically be up there. And I was able to talk to the person who um, who he has running it, Big Mike. Shout out to Big Mike. Uh, so, so I told Big Mike my plans and he got tip on the phone and tip was like man yeah man, i'm with it i'm gonna do whatever whatever you need i got you this that or whatever just let me know and we get we got the running it down and stuff like that and like done that's called that, you know you know him and your dad had a history you know what i mean for sure and, and you know one thing i can tell you about ti he ain't he for right he tried to do the right thing man um, you know, and I know you. You know, people grow up; they get older. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and you know, it's a thing where people be like, you know what, man, I rock with him, man, because even before your dad passed, I remember him. He wasn't on that no more. You know what I'm saying? So it's not something he just changed up after the fact mm -hmm. that I can know. Now you might know a little more about it than me, sure. but it seemed like, you know, the older we get, man, you know, niggas get a little emotional. I'm about to cry now. You know what I'm saying? Like shit go bad, man. I don't even drink and I just tears just start falling. See women look at that. I'm lying. I'm stiff as hell over here. You been a call a nigga on the camera. You would put that hoe out. They say I got the Michael Jordan face. Y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Michael Jordan yeah, face in this yeah. hole. I ain't gonna be over here crying for y'all to be memeing me. Y'all got me bent. I'm not doing it. I'm not going. <laughs> you know, I'm not going. So don't even look for that. I'm just kidding. My fans know that I'm standing up on business like King. So yeah, oh, man. man. So what is what is what do you guys think the 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 because the more stuff that you create, the more that's why. Country Wayne them do what they do. And I told you that a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Remember, I always tell you, like, the content is so important, man. What are you going to do this year in content on your own pages, on your own YouTube? What are you going to do to try to make the thing jump numbers? Me personally, I mean, the only thing I can do is, for me, I feel like I do have personality that I don't necessarily share with the world. Like how Plies is just naturally himself and, and um, you know, people like that, like that works for them. So that can keep them going even when they ain't dropping no music and doing that. And I feel like I do have that type of personality. I just don't show it to the world. It's right. for the people that I'm with, that I'm around, that I'm close with. Yeah, I mean, when I'm around new people or, or I'm on camera and I'm out handling business, it's business. Wow, yeah, you gonna have to show that to the world, bro. For sure, for You're sure. You got to have that, we got to have that, bro. Yeah. Like, so, what? how can people get a hold of you if they trying to link up with you? Man, um, y'all can follow Big me. Big money! Know, man, y'all can follow me at Mr. Clark 4, M-R-C-L-A-R-C-L-A-R-K-4. 
on Instagram. And y'all to go to my bio, man. My link tree got all my movies in there. Got my country Wayne skits. You know what I'm saying? Gonna take you straight to my YouTube link. I got a playlist that got all my skits on there on country Wayne. So y'all can watch what I'm on and then y'all can go catch up with the story. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's a lot. They drop like 9 to 12 episodes a day. So, you know, um, I feel like it's just tapping in, man. Y'all tapping with me. I'm gonna tap in with y'all. And um, to answer your question about uh, how do we feel like, you know what I'm saying, as far as content, how we building. Like I said, I got I got uh, eight movies out right now, one on streaming platforms and seven movies on Tubi. And then, like I said, go to my link tree. It's going to pull up. And then uh, I got six about to drop for the end of the year. And I would say for me, I'm, I'm training with the best acting coaches in the world this year. That's my thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right now, this year is really, really training, you know what I'm saying, to be ready for it. So uh, my first really training class was getting on Country Wayne because there's trained actors on there, like, and they cold. And so they give me a lot of pointers, a lot of game, and it's continue to train and continue to be better, continue to build relationships, and it's up. Man, so what you think about it, Sean Lowe Jr.? Did he tell the truth then? Cause oh, yeah. it So I'm pretty solid. Oh yeah, man. You so know. I'm pretty solid. Drill had on everything. He holding it down. <laughs> so I'm pretty so solid. That's that for real, man. Real. You know, like me, me and Trill been rocking out. You know, um, I, I met him after my father passed and stuff like that. You know, he always been a good brother to me. You know, solid. He been there. You know, as far as just like all around advice. If I need some, you know, we outside of us acting, we got songs together. You know, um, we do down for low week. We do like both of us born on the same day, June third. So we do a week for ourselves. You know, and I got kids. He got kids. You know, man. You know, we just try to keep it in the family. You know, we network and we bring it back. You wow. Know I mean? So we're a real team and a real powerhouse. So man, so really just everything that he said, man. You know, he's telling the truth. Very good brother. Inspiring brother You know Like he said earlier You know He don't talk about nobody He don't talk bad about nobody I ain't never heard him Talk bad about nobody Even when we in a situation Where you got every reason To say something To somebody wrong or bad I ain't seen him do it You know what I mean So you know That be big But yeah That's yeah, hard that, That's huge actually Oh um, glory to God bro Wow Wow Wow, and you on that show with Country Wayne again. Jesus is popping. You gotta say it like that. <laughs> say, man, how can we get hold of you try to love Julia? Man, y'all know y'all can follow me on IG. That's Shardalo underscore Junior. That's S H A W T Y L O underscore J R. You know what I mean? So, man, oh, I do want to tell you something though. You know, and I'm gonna drop it here and it's gonna be exclusive. Exclusive! You know what I mean? See, you, heard, you heard he said exclusive, exclusive, man. We were finna get ready to do the Shardalo. TV series, you know what I mean? So that's definitely in the works and in the mix right now. So I'm working on that. So y'all gonna know something and see something within the next couple of months. That's hard. Man, man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Hey, man, you always welcome. But you got to bring Charlotte Lowe Jr. with you. Y'all always be together anyway. Yeah, for sure, for right. sure. Y'all coming man, to Dallas? Man, look, man, we coming to Dallas, man. My daddy stay in Dallas, so you know what I'm saying? I'm when? definitely coming out there, man. We going we gonna, we gonna to sit there and plan it up, man. We going to have something nice so for y'all. What y'all what 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 like to eat, man? Y'all tell us y'all favorite restaurant and what y'all like to do, you know what I'm saying, so we can have a whole Man, whatever, whatever bang, you cooking, stuff. man, whatever you getting, cook. we... we, we, we yeah. cook. I cook. That's yeah. hard. I got to come we, hang we, out. We, we grab the, y'all we ain't told me to best, come by there tomorrow. We grab the best chef side. Let's, cook, there, some, whatever, let's cook some barbecue or something. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's it. Come on, man. You get down? Yeah, man. Look, man. Look, man. Me and my dad, we got a restaurant called Big Daddy Reds. We do pop-ups. You know what I'm saying? He's out in Dallas right now. I'm in Atlanta or whatever. Yeah, like, so, so yeah, Big Daddy Reds. That's hard. We definitely, oh, yeah. we de we cool, definitely sit there and, um, and set it up. But I do want to say, man, um, I appreciate y'all allowing us to be on y'all platform, man. Always. For real, man, because what y'all doing. You know, it's like it's super big from being a person that's coming in, you know, saying to the family, thank y'all for welcoming me in, first and foremost. Really? But then being in here and just, I was able to see it before I was able to, you know what I'm saying, be here present. What'd you, you think? Me? Man, it's just amazing. I feel like y'all get some of the realest conversations ever. I feel like y'all pivot, y'all, 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 y'all pinpoint each other. You know what I'm saying? It's like real dialogue. Like this, I don't know how long we've been on here, but it feel like 15 minutes. You feel nah, me? It's been about so, yeah. almost 40. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying? Look, look. <laughs> the nigga be talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> but you know what I'm saying? But 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 it's an honor to be on your platform. I thank my brother Shadow Jr. for for allowing me to, you know what I'm saying, to accompany him, you know what I'm saying, to be able to, you know what I'm saying. You always welcome. Through. Man, nah, listen. Sure. You always welcome. Ain't no problem, man. Let me know when you're gonna be in Texas. They're gonna bring you in the stew, right? We're gonna bring you in the place to be. Man, let me know when y'all wanna get on these movies, man, because I got a relationship with man, 14 different directors, man. I ain't finna get no movie. Ain't no damn, I was just kidding, nigga. Man, no, man, no, I'm saying? I don't want yeah, yeah, that yeah, smoke, nigga. Cut. Y'all gonna be mad as hell out there, nigga. Cut that nigga. Hey, stop, man. You don't do that there. It's gonna be bad. Yeah, <laughs> I love, but I but I will say this, man, for any um, you know, why you trying to pivot and trying to maneuver and stuff like that, just some game, man, for anybody who is really trying to get out there and like publicity, man, acting is a great way to get free publicity or paid publicity where you getting paid to publicize yourself and when people connect with you they able to tap in with your individual brand so I would encourage people to go into the film industry be creative continue to move forward like in whatever you're doing like that's some real shit wow thank you guys for coming on the show man appreciate you bro it's been another great segment a boss talk 101 where the boss is stopped. I'm trying to say it oh, slow. You ain't, right. And I put the point at the camera. They told me it's been another great segment. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? It gives them more emphasis yeah, when you do time. that. You know what I'm saying? The boss talk 101, man. Where the bosses talk, man. And if and don't nobody out. know, they going to know this year we're going to be at the White House. Juneteenth. Oh, you told them that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I had to tell them that, man. I had to go on and put it out there. Damn, like, it's going down Juneteenth. Yeah, what you going to be out there for? Performing at the White House. At the White House. At the White Who House. Who bring you, Trump? <laughs> nah. Nigga, who bring you, Trump? You got them tennis shoes, too? Nah, Nigga, man. what's going on? Nah, so listen, so I'm actually a part of, um, I I met the guy um a couple years back, uh, OG Bob. You know okay, I mean? and he's a part of the Juneteenth committee. Okay, and you know, um, he seen me perform at a um, like um, was it Sweet Fest or was uh, it? yeah. So me and him had performed at Sweet Auburn Fest, but I ain't really know who he was when he had gone. I'm like, man, I love your dad, and I love your energy, how you perform, you keep your dad legacy alive, and this and that. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, because I, I get it so much. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm like, I appreciate it, thank you, or whatever. Follow me on IG, you know, I'm gone. But it's been like a year and a half, almost two years, and he back up like, hey, I got this going on, and I want to meet with you. So we went to go sit down for lunch. You know, he was just like, man, you know, ooh, 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 I got this going on. We actually going to have the Juneteenth um, Festival here in Atlanta at Piedmont Park. We're going to do it from June 21st through the 23rd. But he was like, you know, we're going to the White House on the 19th. And, you know, and I want you to come perform. Before. I'm like, Oh yeah, <laughs> me do it. It happened just that fast. <laughs> I know. Uh, he was like, "Yeah, man, you know, I just try to help anybody who I can help and come in contact with, man. You know, God is real. You know, we got to stick together and help uplift he each right, other." He like right, that. you ain't saying nothing wrong, man. I, I, I'm like, how like now? How many people I know or done heard of performing at the White House? Not many. Not many. I'm finna make Not it. many. It's going down. Charlotte Lowe Jr. will be performing at the White House. Joe Biden hair going up right there. When that nigga get in, that nigga hair coming up right there. It's going to go up when yeah, he, he get there. He better not be asleep when I get there. Oh, he going to be asleep. <laughs> Check it, man. Boss talk one on one. a boss is talking. Hey, hey, look, hey, look, real quick, man. Can we do one thing that ain't been done before? What? On the podcast, I don't think. I don't know. Man, can we pray real quick? Man, my brother, we we've, done that. Yeah. we've done that before all, all the time. Yeah. 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 Oh, damn. Sure Let's do it again, nigga. Okay, you brought okay, it up. Okay, little, little, you want to lead or you want me to lead? Let, let okay. me lead. Okay, but you, man, man, let the king lead. Go ahead. Man, king. you know what I'm saying? On, man. man, this is what realness is about, man. God. Thank you for bringing us here, down here in Atlanta. God, we ask that you just watch over these brothers. Keep a hedge of protection over these brothers. God, watch over family. God, watch over everybody that's uh, at the sound of my voice, everybody, everybody that's God that's worshiping and, and the ones that ain't worshiping, they got it might be stuck up under a bridge, God. Touch his heart as well, oh, Father. We thank you, Father, and we praise your holy name because you're worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 God bless this podcast. Yeah, man, we do this every time. Hey, listen, man, that's easy. That's easy right there. I know that. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you.